Merry Christmas Mopar fans and Ford Lincoln fans, as you'll see. Um, I'm going to try to do four and five, four cars in five minutes. So let's do this real quick. Um, you can see my garage has the three bays. There's three cars in here is a very beautiful, um, all three very stock, um, 68 Barracuda Formula S and JJ1 Gold for 1968. First year of the 340. This is a numbers match 340 replacement transmission, which is a 727 for the A body. And take a look at all the bezels, everything was replaced new. Got your sport steering wheel, which is the upgrade wheel. Dash is new, all the re-chrome. Uh, dash pad looks good. And look at the upper door frames. Someone did a exemplary job on this car. And you see the wood grain in the dash, or, or in the door panels, rather. Take a look at this. So... That wood grain right there in this mesh right here for 68 you see this mesh area that's called a decor package and you know what a lot of people have told me they're like what the hell is that on the bottom of your seats why do you do they don't know what a decor package is and what it does it, it, it goes with the wood grain and in 69 you would get a wood grain dash but in 68 you do not so that's the ins and outs of the Mopar uh, as far as the A-body Barracudas go. And the reason why I cover this Barracuda is because this is Plymouth's star uh, sport model. These were different. They were expensive to make. They had all kinds of different options and different things that didn't match up with other A-bodies. It was as if um, the Barracuda was its own animal and it really was which is why plymouth in 1970 separated the the barracuda from the a body line and sent it to the e body line and made the cuda and it was a right decision because now they're all pretty much over six figures for 340s select 340s and moving on up through the big blocks go way over a hundred uh, the Hemi Cuda Convertibles, as you know, the one did, what, 3.8 million. Uh, it was a four-speed, and I believe plumb crazy. Um, but there were only like nine of them made in one year and, what, 13 or 14 in the other year. So that's why they go for such large money. But there you have it. Beautiful, big-time, award-winning Formula S Barracuda 340 numbers match. And here is a super highline driver um not a concourse car near it but it's an older restoration and uh but the thing is is the car has an incredible story it came from the long island area from the original owner's family who uh uh took took it up in april of 67 but he went to vietnam so the car sat and then uh he got back drove it stored it drove it stored it and in 2012, the car was restored back to the way he got it from the factory. And then five years later, the original owner died in 2017 after 50 years of ownership. And his son had it for five years. And then his son put it on consignment right at Motor Car Classics in Long Island, New York. And I bought the car there. Technically, I am second owner. Car does not have a build sheet. But I have date coded everything on this. Every component, engine, uh, radiator, <laughs> transmission, wiper motor, everything comes out except for the alternator. Which is not too bad because when everything date codes up, that's the replacement for numbers match. Because in 67, they didn't stamp numbers on the block. You had to go by the date of uh, the cast date and then the assembly date and when you look at the assembly date on the 440 pad it should groove with the scheduled production date of the car and everything grooves just beautifully all the components except for um master cylinder and alternator but anyway just a beautiful car it's got a i mean provenance 
excellent story from the original family who put it away because it's got the original quarter panels on it. It's had lower quarter replacements and above the wheel wells, but it has the original quarters on it. And that's why I absolutely love this car. It's a real black on black four speed Dana car 440. And this is the first year of the RT. Dodge debuted the RT nomenclature, which is road and track. You buy the car, drive it to work, and then on the weekends, you take it to the track. Therefore, you got road and track. For many of you, you probably didn't know what that meant, but that's what it is. Dodge Chrysler Plymouth started putting out cars, muscle cars, that you could drive to work through the week, take it to the track, and you could actually pretty much <laughs> kill everybody that was local except for the real race guys. Um... But as far as street and strip back then, these things were killer contenders. And what you're going to look at right here is where this car was delivered new. Herbie Dodge, West Islip, Long Island. So that's where it was delivered new. Still has the, uh, the placard on the back. Now what I'm, going to tell you, what I'm going to show you is three trophies that a friend on the east coast of Florida, his name is Eric, and Eric gave me um, some trophies because he grew up on Long Island. And take a look at this. Herbie Dodge Mopar meet. Third place, original stock. I don't know what car that was to, but he had them sitting there in his garage for years. And he said, hey, look, you've got this car from Herbie Dodge up in Long Island. Take these trophies. These trophies don't belong to this car, but however, they come, all three of them, come from Herbie Dodge out of Long Island. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool that he would uh, be so nice to think of me and actually give me those trophies. And taking a look at this car, it's pretty. It's very pretty. It's a real four-speed with the Dana. Uh, in 67, they only had the 354 Danas. Um, in the race specific stuff, you could have 410 or above, but like as far as stock straight, you had the 354 for 67. And I was told that the car, um, like most four speed big block cars had uh, maximum cooling, but in 67, um, someone told me they would not put torque fans on them. I put one on anyway. <laughs> only because I just like the extra cooling and it's got that beautiful original 26 inch radiator. So there you have it. Let's go over here. Last but not least, 383 four speed PP1 red Dodge Dart GTS big block with a 383 that's been built. Um, it's a warranty engine, 1968. It's uh, seven months after the build of the car with no stamps on it. So it's either a warranty block or an over-the-counter dealer replacement or something. But there are no identifying stamps on that block. And it is a 68 HP 383. So, But the car has a build sheet. We'll take a look at the copy of it. Um, the build sheet says the car was a 323 sure grip rear end differential but right now the car has a 391 sitting in it so as you can see the inland shifter the car is really beautiful all the chrome on the dash is wonderful so there's that big block 383 okay here's the copy of the build sheet as you can see LS23 H code 383 and the axle yeah 62 is your 383 3 is the 4 speed and <coughs> your axle says 323 sure grip but it has a 391 I'm not complaining I'm not going to take it on the highway but I'll tell you what when you blip the throttle in that 391 in first and second gear, this thing gets with the program. So there you have it, folks. I wish you a very Merry Christmas. Thanks for hanging out here on Christmas Day. 
This is God's garage. Thank you.